California breeding its own COVID-19 variant. The latest COVID-19 surge in California is a new punishment for healthcare workers and the public. For some reason, cases just ballooned that alarm scientists of a potential new, highly transmissible variant. Before the surge, scientists have been looking into UK variant-related cases in the US. Most of their time was used in tracking that strain. Another variant, however, seemed to have played them. Dr. Charles Chu, a laboratory medicine specialist at UC San Francisco said, there was a homegrown variant under our noses. According to Yahoo News, the surprise SARS-CoV-2 variant was barely detected in early October, but it accounted for 24% of roughly 4,500 viral samples obtained in the final weeks of 2020. A separated 332 viral samples, picked mostly from Northern California between late November and December, were analyzed and 25% of them had the same variant. Combined, the two separate analyses showed a variant growing under everyone's noses. The new variant is dubbed B.1.426 that bears five mutations in its genetic code. It is considered a homegrown strain, which may have started the Californian surge. Of the mutations, the L452R mutation alters the spike protein of the coronavirus. But how a homegrown variant successfully hit its tracks? Surveillance efforts were done since the pandemic hit the U.S. Experts already spotted the B.1.426 variants once in July, and then, for whatever reason, it lay low for three months. Scientists couldn't find other cases with that variant for weeks. So, they turned their attention to different variants. It appears the variant got busy in the shadows as experts moved their eyes away from it. From November 22 to December 28, 192 viral samples from patients spit out the hiding variant. Scientists experienced both wonder and sorrow from the surprise. Despite the progress in this variant's research, there are still many things unclear to scientists. The word homegrown contextually describes the coronavirus's mutation in California that resulted in a new strain. Scientists didn't say that the variant was grown in a lab and let loose to wreak havoc. The variant was already discovered but became dormant for a few months. They also need to determine how and if the variant may have contributed to the Californian surge. Is it more transmissible than the original? Can it resist neutralizing antibodies from survivors? Plus, they must examine if other factors like cold weather and holiday gatherings awakened it from its slumber.